We should never allow the government to decide what is acceptable speech and what is unacceptable speech. Um, we, should, we should penalize behaviors, not opinions, and not speech. Uh, if you start trying to regulate speech, you start trying to regulate uh, thoughts, you start trying to regulate beliefs rather than behaviors, uh, there's no way that you're not going to abridge the constitutional rights of millions of Americans. مرحبا انا امران دقنيش في 2016 رايتني في سياره اسعاف لما كان عمري ثلاث سنوات فقط اليوم انا في السابعه من عمري وانا بشكل جيد في حلب اختي رؤى واختي الصغيره تقي في حاله جيده اخي عبد الله يبلغ من العمر ثمانيه اعوام تقريبا والدي هو محمد خير وهو أيضا بخير ووالدتي أيضا بخير الآن أردنا إخبار كل من صلى من أجلنا شكرا لكم ونحن أيضا نحبكم جميعا
Rated PG-13. From Amram and Carrie Films comes this true and tragic story of a small three and a half year old boy who lived in Aleppo, Syria. His name is Amram Daknish. He was seen one night in an ambulance with blood on his head. His family survived the worst night of their lives when Russian airstrikes destroyed his neighborhood. The world saw him, cried for him, remembers him today. The famous director, George Lucas, brings this story to life in a way you will never forget because it really happened. <laughs> 